today. It's Tuesday and it's just, just coming up to 20 past nine in the morning. Oh my goodness, it's loud out here today. It's always loud out here, guys. We're living on a building site right now. Shall I drive? Yeah, yeah. Have you got my key? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo. I am just heading out this morning to go and do some, do some, go to help my sister, basically. Help my sister do a few jobs and help my nana. Up. I forgot my phone. Nana do a few jobs. Give me my keys, please. And um, I'm going to drive myself up, but Chris is going to drive my car home and I'm going to get the bus, the bus back. Um, so if anyone's wondering or saying, how can you drive if you've not got your license? I am insured on this little baby. Check it out guys, some of you may not have seen this. It's just had a recent, um, what's it called, clean. So I've got a packet on my seat right now. But yeah, check out my baby. This is Pepper. And I'd love to show you guys the full registration plate, but I won't do that for security, but I will show you half. Yay! This is half of my registration plate. I love it! Look, guys <laughs> so we're just out right now we've come up to cross gates in Leeds and I'm with Leah and Katrina and we've got little Harrison are you in a good mood today or not you're going to smile no never never and we are just <laughs> we're just having a look around actually I left my coat at home this morning and I gotta get the bus back because I was driving here I didn't think to pick up my jacket and I'm just in a jumper which is quite a warm jumper but I thought if I could find something on this sail rack I'd get like a light jacket to go home in but I can't so and I wouldn't usually buy one anyway but the black jacket that I've got the zips broke on it and then my big furry grey one the pockets are ripped inside so I can't use the pockets which is so inco inconvenient anyway there's nothing in there so I think we're going to head down now to home bargains Katrina wants to find a few bits and then, um, I'm not sure what we're going to do after that, are we? I'm not sure. But you guys will know, because as always, you come with us, Trina's like, get some food. Starving. Get starving. You hungry, Trina? <laughs> oh, and Leah. Wasted away. Wasted away. <laughs> Leah's got some good news, haven't you? Leah. Katrina, well, this is more good news for <laughs> Katrina. <laughs> Leah has got into her new school. Yay! And she starts tomorrow, is it? Are you excited? No, not really. Never. <laughs> She's a bit nervous, but, oh, let me just start out the focus. She's a little bit nervous, but we all know she'll do brilliant. Good morning, iFarm, how's it going? I have got someone very, very excited with me right now. Guess who just got home? Hello, pretty woo! Hello, darling. We missed you so much. So my mum and dad took Prinny and Coco out for a bit of an adventure yesterday. So Prinny didn't end up getting back till super late. So she slept at Coco's house last night, didn't you, baby? Yeah. And she's just got back now. I've just been to go and pick her up after I dropped Sarah off at her sister's house. And we're chilling. She's actually really chilled right now. She's been so excited for the last 10 minutes. She's gone crazy, woofing, trying to find the girls, trying to find Sarah. But nobody's here. Just me and you. Solo, kiddo, right? And now she's like, man, I miss Coco. I wish I wasn't here. Pretty absolutely loves being home for about five minutes until she realizes that Coco's gone and the fun's over. And then she's just completely bummed for like three days in a row, which is exactly what she's gonna be right now. But you can tell she absolutely loves being home. When I went to pick her up at my mum and dad, she literally went crazy. Like I've never heard her woof and yelp as loud as she woofed and as loud as she yelped. It was very, very cute. And she was desperate to get out to the car. Anyways, guys, I am feeling absolutely epic today. Other than suffering from a bit of a cold, which you can probably tell in my voice, I sound horrendous today. But I'm feeling so good. I asked you guys yesterday to comment on the video where you were watching the video from and so many of you commented literally I was blown away by how far like out in the world our vlogs are being seen Pakistan, Thailand, just to name a few, loads of you in Australia, so many of you in America, so many of you in like loads of really far away places that I just could not even fathom that you were watching our vlogs there I think one was from that I saw Trinidad, Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago, and that was like, whoa, it's just crazy, the reach 
that these videos half like I had no idea that there were so many people all over the world that watch these videos in all sorts of different countries all over the place and it's such an amazing feeling to know that to know that you guys were watching our videos all the way over in the Middle East and all the way as far south as Australia yesterday all the way around the world it was a pretty amazing feeling so if you're watching this right now let me know again where are you watched it from guys comment below tell me what country city where are you from because it makes me feel really super inspired i'd love to visit like all these places that you guys are from eventually and get around the whole world and meet you all that would be absolutely incredible that's the goal that is the ultimate ifam goal to go around a massive massive worldwide meeting ifam tour that would be amazing so we're just heading back in the car we're about to head to asda is that right yeah we're going to go to <gasps> you know they closed me in the door <laughs> we're going to go to asda to get some flowers for my mum's grave because i was in london over the weekend and i didn't get a chance to go up and visit her grave and put flowers down for sunday which was mother's day here in the uk i know not for you australians you've all been commenting saying it's not mother's day until may in our country but here in the uk it's in march so we're going to go and do that now you're looking forward to go up to nana's grave we we i was gonna say whistle but you're not isabel <laughs> we're going to go and do that now flowers on my mum's and cleaned around a little bit and now I'm going to take these ones down to my granddad's. So I just picked up two gorgeous yeah. girls from school and instead of going home we thought no we're not going home today because yeah. the sun's out yeah. so we're going to come down to, to the park. The park. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to go play on swings and slides. Yeah we're going to go play on some swings, play on some slides. We're coming to a park that the girls always really want to go to but we've not actually ever been to before. <laughs> you girls have wanted to play on it for ages. Yeah. So today your wish is my command. Yay! Let's go. <laughs> you crazy girls. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. Woo. That was slow. You crazy girls. What's wrong, Ayla? What happened? I fell over. I was too dizzy and I fell over. She got off the, um, this, um, what's it called? Roundabout. Roundabout. And then it, she was so um, speedy, so she was going to and she fell. Oh, no. Just... Are you okay now, darling? Yeah. Yeah, did you take a bump to your head? She literally just stepped off of the carousel and straight onto the floor and knocked your head. Luckily, it's all grassed. So it's kind of soft, right? You didn't hurt your head too much. You need a hug? Come here. So Sarah just texted when we were at the park saying that she was only about half an hour away from being back in our area and we would have had to come and pick her up from the shop anyway because that's where the bus drops are off and it's quite a far walk. So we decided just to stay out and we've come to Costa to get a little hot chocolate and warm ourselves up, right girls? Yeah. Is that very nice? The girls got them with flakes today. Not the usual marshmallows. The sun's setting over there. It's real pretty in the background. There we go. And I've got myself a nice chai latte. So we're all back home now. We've had a nice, or I've had a nice day. Have you had a nice day, babe? No. No. <laughs> no, I'm joking. She's not had a nice day, but I've had a nice day been busy. I did something today that I actually didn't film doing just because it wasn't appropriate to film it but I can tell you guys what it was because I'm just super happy about it but one thing that we did today before we nipped to um to Asda was we went to a I don't know what these shops are actually called but it's the place that you go to buy gravestones etc so I went to one of those with my nana because back in may last year i don't think i vlogged about it just because i was quite upset about it at the time but i didn't just didn't feel comfortable vlogging about it but 
I lost my granddad and a lot of you guys will already know I lost my mum two years ago I bought her a very nice headstone with um what they call a curb bed I think they're called a curb bed it's basically the big surround for the the plot and I'm so grateful to be in a position to buy her that and the reason I was in a position to buy that was because of you awesome iFam watching our videos and just being amazing so I did a big video saying how grateful I was to you all and then when I lost my granddad in May last year my nana had saved up and she bought his headstone but unfortunately she went in a position to be able to buy the curb the, the bed part and i offered to buy one not just for her but for her my granddad and for the, the whole rest of the family it's not just for any of us it's for everyone so that when we go up there we've got a nice place to like a nice resting place for my granddad and I I'm really 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 grateful to be in a position to be able to do that for her and my granddad and for the whole family so I took my nana up there today and we picked one out and I just feel really really happy and grateful that we've got the ball the ball the ball rolling and my granddad's going to have a nice resting place because he deserves it he was such wasn't my granddad amazing oh, he was, yeah. Chris loved my granddad so much they got on so so well and they did so much for me and Chris and also just me growing up um they did a huge amount of things for me and I was never in a position whilst he was alive to pay him back I guess not that he ever expected anything back but only, the only thing I could do for him when he was alive was obviously spend time with him and love him which was always enough it was always enough but I've always wanted to just give something back and I feel really excited that I'm able to do this for him do this for my nana and do this for the whole family so we went up today and we oh I'm so happy we got the ball the ball rolling on that so thank you guys the reason I'm in this position is for you guys watching our videos so a massive massive thank you one hour later well, this is a very nice cuddle ouch it's it's swiftly turning from nice to violent <laughs> You're squishing your nose. So Isla can't do any reading tonight because, do you want to tell everyone why? My book is too scary, it's all about ghosts <laughs> and haunted so, stuff. Stuff. So Isla has moved up a reading level at school, she's now on gold which is amazing. And guess what? Tell I've, me. I've got white, then I'm on lime. The hardest level. The hardest level. And by the way, she's only got one more to go until she's on the hardest level. And when we say that, we mean the hardest level in the whole school. So year sixes are on that, aren't they? And you're in year one. You're doing fantastic with your reading. Anyway, she's on a level gold. And that means that the books are scary. Not scary, but this one's scary. She's brought home. It's about ghosts. And she read one page and burst out crying. I was like, this is scaring me. So we're not going to read that tonight, are we? I've got another book. Well, you didn't tell me that, madam. No, I did. You did not. You yes, said I, I can't did. read these books too scary, you little fibber. You know. You know. <laughs> you know, madam. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So you need to take that scary book back tomorrow anyway, okay, okay. and change it. Anyway, I will, I will move... Probably move up to um to three because I've got two books and I'm on one, and um, but I probably will move up to three because that book was too scary. Okay. But at least I read a page. <laughs> she read a page before she freaked out. Anyway, Esme and Isla, should we go upstairs and play a game before we yeah, wind down? What game? <gasps> I know a game that we've got that we haven't played yet that you got for Christmas. Me. Yeah, you got a game for. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I'm joking. Do you want your bolly? I'm playing um, Catch It Frinny. She had, I, I threw it, then she came, <laughs> got, got to get it, and then she put it back in my hand. She's like, like Esme, Esme, Isla, I mean, Isla. She went, right, the, the ball was just in my neck, and I was holding it with my, with my <laughs> neck, like that, and she was going, wait, she was going, let's do it, she was going oh. to touch my neck, give me your ball, and it was like, oh! Oh my gosh, she's too cute. <laughs> anyway, yes, you got a game for Christmas and we've not actually played it yet because what we tend to do is find a game that we all really enjoy playing and then we'll play that game over and over and over and over and over, which yeah. is what we've done with the word search game and that boom boom balloon game that we got. But we're kind of bored with them now. But we're kind of bored with those two, yeah. So we don't want to play those again tonight. So, can you think of a game that you got for Christmas? 
It's not Lupin Louie. Jumbo? No. It wasn't Lupin Louie. What was that? Lupin Louie. It was... Headbands. No. Oh my gosh, yeah, you got headbands. It's a game called Lupin Chewy. <laughs> so whilst daddy's getting the batteries, me and the girls are just having a tester. So I thought I'd quickly show you guys. So we have these three coins. Do you want to explain Esme? So, yes, yeah, so like uh, so we have these and so we have this in the middle with an angry chewy on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> and basically what the game um is like we've got these three counters on each bit and then Chewy is gonna when we put the batteries in it's gonna spin around and and he's going to try and take out your counters, yeah, right? Yeah, so if he knocks it, then they fall Wee. down into here. Yep. And then you've got, but you've got to try and go, Wee! and bounce it up. Like I'm going to do it. So when he gets to you, bam! <laughs> and then he's going, and then he might knock one down. Yeah. Then... So it's the one who loses all the counters first is the loser. Go. Be really careful not to knock, knock him too early. Damn, go on, man. Ah! 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 I knocked one of my own yeah, down. Yeah, didn't even yeah. touch one. Come on, I've got one more left. Oh, I was out. Oh, I was out again. <laughs> Oh, it's my oh, dog. Oh, yeah. I have to do a day now. So Isla was the winner, and she has to give Esme a dare, and whatever she says, Esme has to do it. Have you got a good dare idea? Yeah. I dare you to give me a donkey ride to my bedroom all the way to the chair and all the way back to the wall. <laughs> Come on donkey Esme. <laughs> <laughs> Jump on your donkey Isla. <laughs> Go! <Yeah! laughs> hold on, hold on. Not too much. <laughs> Control your donkey Isla. So before I end today's vlog, I thought I would do a question of the day. And today's question of the day goes to Tea Life Daily Vlogs. So their question was, if you had one superpower, what would it be? And it took me no time to think of my answer for this because my one superpower that I wish I had would be to have the power to heal all illnesses. That would be so amazing and so much more beneficial than what Chris said. Yo. Ouch! <laughs> what, what did you say? I want to be Spider-Man. <laughs> Superman. Oh. I want to be able to fly like Superman. That'd be really cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> oh no, man. <laughs> you straight out nutted me, man. That big old heavy bonds of yours just took out my <laughs> eyebrow. Oh my gosh, that hurts so bad, your <laughs> eyebrow. It's rock hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got a headache. I need that healing power right now. <laughs> anyway, guys, my one superpower would be healing. Oh, I'm trying to make a fur, like the girls did last night. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. You show for everybody that you're in my pink, pink pyjama bottoms pink on. pink PJ bottoms on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much, T-Life, for that question. If you'd be... If you'd be... If you would like to, can you hold the camera? What's up, man? If you would like to be in with a chance of us answering one of your questions, just, co just comment them down below and we'll answer one. And as of today, we're also doing something else. We have so much support, not just on YouTube, but on all of our social media channels. That's Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And we want to recognise you guys more than just liking your posts and things. So we guessed that... Guessed? 
So we thought that every single day we are going to give someone who is really active on any one of our social media a shout out. So it can be on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, anywhere. Today's shout out is going to go to two people because we're going to kick it off fun. The first one is underscore EDBDI fam because I just love that name. So cute. And the next one is Sparkling Inghams. And I just want to point out that they're both off Instagram. And just because they're both fan accounts, that doesn't mean we're only shouting out fan accounts. It can just be our normal name. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to be in with a chance of a shout out, be active on our social media. Do not zoom in on my face. It's not mad. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Good night. Mm. Hi, iFam. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notifications bell and like this video. Also, head over to Isabel's called Sassy Bell and hit those notifications and subscribe as well. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.